Good day, everyone. My name is Jim Sullivan, and I'm a software engineer here with 321 Gang. And today I will be presenting to you Rational Team Concerts integration with Git, but I will be doing the GitHub flavors of Git. As everybody knows, there are different flavors of Git. So we will be looking at RTC's integration with GitHub and and or GitHub Enterprise. As everybody knows, they're the same product. One is the community edition and the other is GitHub Enterprise, which is supported and can be on premises. The, or the GitHub integration with RTC begins here with RTC work items. Uh, as everybody knows, RTC includes uh, work items, which we call change management, defects, tasks, stories, et cetera. Planning, which is where we have our uh, backlogs and, and other iteration planning. Source control, which in this case, we're not going to use the RTC source control. At this point, we are going to work with Git for our source control. We're not going to have the RTC source control, which, which includes the RTC streams, workspaces, uh, visual deliveries. We won't have that with, with Git. We are literally going to uh, substitute RTC source control with Git. And it also includes builds. I mean, you can use Jenkins builds or R RTC jazz builds. Uh, and reporting. So for right now, we, this demonstration is going to include using our file management or source management with Git and using RTC for work item management and lifecycle management as well. So first thing uh, we'll see is I've been assigned a task. I see here I'm the owner of this task and I'm supposed to update application files. So what I'm going to do here is just set this work item to start working. That way the world knows that I'm working on it. And I might just go back out here to my general queries. And I can see here, if I run this again, I have right here, update application files. So that's the file on which I'm working and I can see here that it's in development. So the world knows that I am busy working on this file or this set of files. So what I'll do is, first thing I'll do is a Git user, I will open up my Git client. And so again, this is GitHub. So this is my GitHub client and I'll open up my local Git repository. So what I've done is from the, uh, from the GitHub, I've actually cloned the project locally and now I'm using my uh, GitHub client to access the project locally. And you can access this project with any client you want. You could open this in uh, Notepad, you could open this in um, Eclipse. So any way that you access these files, you can continue to do with, uh, as everybody knows, with the GitHub client. So what I'm going to do is just open this file with uh, Notepad, and I'm going to continue to work on it. So I'm going to add a comment, I'm going to add a line here, and I'll put my demo in here, and I'm going to save this. So now I've, I've updated my Git repository uh, locally, and I can even close this. So, th so we can see here that from my, my GitHub client, it picked up right away the file that I updated. And it's given me the opportunity here to commit now. So the idea here is we want to commit and we want to tie together our integration with RTC. So again, uh, one of the, the work item we're working on is 6434. And we want to remember that because in our commit, we want to enter uh, that 6434. So I'll say updated file 6434 and I can say I also want to put in here the work item Oop. work item 6434 and I might want to note it again here. Work item, I could also enter defect if I wanted to. And 
and I can click on my commit. So now I've committed that and I also want to do a push. So let me push this now to the actual GitHub. So if any, so what this is doing is similar. Here's my, 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 my branch with Git. That's similar to an RTC stream. It's not an RTC stream. It's a, it, it's a Git branch, but uh, same exact same idea. I have my workspace just like RTC. And if I click here now, I can see here what I've done. I can take a look here at, at my comparisons. And I can also go up to RTC. We can open our work item here. And we have to do a refresh. And we can see here under the, this refresh that my 6434, the work that I did was captured right here. So we can see here the um, what was done to capture uh, the work that I've done. So I've used Git to actually manage the source. And now I'm using RTC to capture that work completion. And if I click here, it will open Git for me or GitHub for me. And I can see here, this has already been uploaded. In my case, it's being uploaded to actually GitHub online, the community edition. And, and RTC has actually uh, been updated with this change because uh, I linked it, right? I just had a link from there. So I can go back here again and I can see it here. And if I open this in a new tab, I can see here, I can get right back to my GitHub here. So this is ready to be shareable with anybody on the team. So here I am again, still up at the GitHub. Again, this is community edition. I'm going to go back to RTC. So I can see this task here now has within it, stamped within it, the, um, the integration with Git. We can add also to this same work item, we can add the requirement that I'm implementing. So this is more of the lifecycle traceability. So let me just click on here, adds, if I didn't have it already, I'll uh, create a new requirement. And and it will be a feature and I'll just click on OK. So now I have my requirement, my feature requirement uh, that is part of of the work that we're doing. So I'm actually tracking with RTC the life cycle from the requirement right to the task or right to the implementation level. Well, now that I have my life cycle traceability here from my requirement to my actual development or implementation, I can also add a test case if I need to. Uh, test cases can also be added. So we can click on here and uh, select an existing test case we can pick any one of these. So that's a further extension of the life cycle. We can uh, see the, the requirement is tested by test case, and this is the test case. And it was actually built, and, and it's in this GitHub repository. So if somebody wants to click here again and see it, they can uh, take a look up here at Git and look further if they want to do any kind of code reviews or anything like that. Now at this point, what I'll do is go back into my work item. If we need approvals, we have an approval tab here. It has an out-of-the-box approval process. And I can click this as complete and save. So this work item right now is done. It's set to done. And if anybody wants to see the work that I did, it's recorded right here in Git. It's recorded right on the work item. It's certainly reportable. They can see that I've implemented this requirement. And I can see here the test case that actually tests the work I did. And somebody can go in and validate, is this eventually a, a, a passing test case? And they can track this all the way to, uh, to its deployed to production. At this point, let's take a look at how we configure GitHub, either GitHub Enterprise or GitHub Community with RTC. We start here at the, um, the change management, and we go into source control. In this case, what we would do is we'd click on work with Git. So again, we are not using RTC source control. Again, RTC has you know, four sections. It has the work items, change management. It has the planning, 
backlogs and other iteration plans. There's the source control, Jazz source control, which includes the streams, the workspaces, the deliveries, which we are not using. We're, we're substituting all of that with Git, and it has the builds again and the reporting. So again, RTC offers its own Jazz build engine, but it also works with Jenkins and other build engines as well. So let's take a look at how we go ahead and uh, can integrate RTC with Git. So we need to register a repository. So first thing we would do is click on add a reg or register a Git repository if we don't have one. In this case, let's take a look at one that I, I just registered. So I click here and we can see the properties. I have to have the URL and the URL actually comes from Right here, uh, we clone a repository and we get the URL right from here. So I have to enter that into RTC, which you can see that I already have. My project area is going to be the whole scope of the project area. I don't want it for a specific team. I want, in this case, I want the whole scope of a project area. I get the uh, opportunity to um, get a key back from uh, RTC, which we'll use in a, in a uh, shortly. We see here our GitHub and GitLab configuration. So I enter in here my GitHub as my hosting server. I enter in a secret authorization that I enter. And RTC gives me what's called a webhook URL. So this is essentially a pointer for GitHub to come back to my RTC. So this is where it comes from. So it's a very long URL, as everybody can see here. And it's got, actually, it's got this key. See this key here? That's the unique identifier as, I guess you could say, the suffix where it's indicating my repository with this key right here. So this is what goes into uh, GitHub, and it's able to identify my repository with this key. So one thing I'll do is just, this is a long, so I'll just copy that, and I'll need that uh, a little in, in a few minutes. I'll also enter my, um, my GitHub username and password, and we should be all set. Now what I'll do is I'll go back into GitHub and I'll go into settings and I have to go into webhooks and here on the web I would add a new webhook if I click on add a webhook but if we take a look at my existing web webhook we can see here is the webhook this is what I copied the payload URL that I got out of RTC so I put that in I put that in and then I can update the web uh, hook or, or uh, confirm the web hook. And as we see down here, we can see all the deliveries that RTC is making or that Git is sending back to RTC. Let's take a look at one. So this is my most recent. Um, so this is these are the headers and footers. This is the actual request response from Git. And normally you wouldn't go in here once you configure the web hooks and uh, get the confirmation with the green check. You're fine. But as we can see here, if we ever had to troubleshoot, we can look down here and actually see some of the work that's going on. Remember that work item 6434? Well, it's right here. So uh, you can see here that Git is actually sending this information back to RTC, and that's where that uh, stamping essentially in the task item we had, in the work item we had, this is how all of those links are, are established. So we can see it's pointing back right up here. So once we have all of this set up, we're, we're ready to go ahead. And what I'll do is I'll just, uh, is there anything else down here? Nope, we can troubleshoot a little bit. You can see all of the work that I've been doing over the last couple of days. We're all set to go here at this point. We can continue using Git. And notice here, up here at the GitHub level, we actually see the comment that I passed in last time. So uh, again, we can well, come right here to our hello world we can see what was done. We can look at the history if we need to. Here are all, all the histories before. So again, if we need any code reviews, that's certainly possible with uh, all of the, the work here. We can see that I actually added a line. You can see this plus sign. So we can see the work that I've done. If we want to document the code review, if we don't mind it being here on the public Git, we can certainly document it here in this uh, description section.
Thank you for uh, watching this presentation on the integration of Rational Team Concert and GitHub. Again, this covers our GitHub community and GitHub Enterprise. So there is uh, a fair amount, or as everybody knows, uh, GitHub itself is very popular and the, the market share is quite extensive. However, there are other integrations that do require plugins for uh, RTC integration with Git. So look for those presentations in a uh, separate presentation. Thank you.